let's look at the first renderings on our Hell Engine. So uh, plenty of placeholder holder parts and uh, yeah, things I like the intake manifold, for instance, uh, might change to a different style, but something like that anyway. Uh, the right cylinder head is absolutely done. Left cylinder head is close to done. Uh, top part of the block is finished. The uh, bottom part is still uh, lots of work. The uh, girdle and the uh, sort of oil pan, uh, yeah, still uh, lots of work with that. And that is, so this uh, Max Hell version that this uh, render is from is, um, yeah, going to be fully compatible with the front wheel drive system. And the uh, dry sump oil pump also will, will clear the uh, front drive. Unfortunately, uh, we will have to uh, move the uh, the compressor for the uh, air conditioning, though that will have to move down a little bit. So it won't be fully like uh, factory locations on all the uh, units, but shouldn't be too much of a problem to uh, get get the uh, AC sort of uh, ducting uh, rerouted and still be able to uh, keep AC. Um, yeah, I'm Oscar from Elmer Racing, and let's take a quick look here at the actual cylinder head. And yeah, also way too busy now, so don't have time to to like uh, do any kind of a script or any kind of retakes or figure out what, what I'm going to say here or not. So I'm just going to wing it and hope for the best. But yeah, uh, this is the uh, intake part here. Um, so we have some decent contouring here. I'm not sure how well this shows up with all the reflections. But there is a sl slight problem with the uh, VR38 engine and the size. So Nissan really, really uh, crammed that in as in as a small of a space as possible. So to be able to fit it into an engine bay, uh, they really lowered the uh, cylinder head and the camshaft height as, as much as possible. So it has really short valves. And that dictates that, di dictates that the uh, valve guides need to uh, be really close to the uh, valve seat. And yeah, that's basically what you see here. So on the VR38 uh, cylinder heads, the ports do a really sharp turn. But of course, that's not very good for flow. So yeah, the uh, bottom uh, like inner uh, curve here is like super tight on the uh, factory heads. But our solution to that is to do a contoured uh, ports here. So as you can see, the the uh, yeah, valve guides stick out a lot of the port, but we have the uh, port shaped around the valve guides and also around the uh, valve, uh, valve spring pocket that is on top there. So we can straighten out the port a lot while still maintaining a uh, factory uh, height on the valve guides there. So that will give us uh, really decent uh, durability and, and uh, support for the valves. And yeah, while, while maintaining the uh, factory uh, packaging there, so will be able to uh, run uh, to fit that and be bolt-in compatible with uh, well I mean bolt-in is kind of a loose term because the uh, compressor will need some uh, re rerouting the uh, intake manifold is uh, of course needs to be much larger here with the uh, insanely large uh, valve sizes we're running compared to the uh, VR38 engine and will require uh, oil tank also for the uh, dry sump system of course and yeah the exhaust uh, flanges are moved upwards again to uh, straighten out the ports as much as possible and the exhaust ports are also contoured around the valve guides and around the the uh, valve spring area not as much as the intake of course but uh, a little bit there also we have three engines spoken for so far uh, we are doing the uh, max hell version is going to be the first one available uh, for we're doing maybe a few more pre-orders we don't want to do too many pre-orders because we will need to provide some kind of like unofficial sort of warranty on the first engines of course because if there's some design problem they will need to redo parts and we don't want to be redoing a huge amount of parts because before they're tested so very very limited amount of uh pre pre-order engines uh but yeah those are are available for order now so you can check out our uh, website uh elmeracing.com or shop.elmeracing.com for uh prices and more specifications on the uh, max hell version then once we have the max hell version uh, designed uh, far enough then we will start working on the uh, TUV Hell Engine that we anticipate at least will be uh, yeah, get that uh, TUV approved for uh, street use in the EU and probably will be allowed to yeah, be uh, emissions legal and street used in uh, other sort of areas also. But yeah, uh, that's it for the, today's uh, quick update. See you guys in the next time. <laughs> Bye.